Hey guys, what's up? Um, you guys can answer that, and I don't really think I'll know what you guys are up to. But anyways, this tutorial is on using JTables right here. It's the last option in our swing controls, and uh, using spinners, which has a very weird name. You would expect it to spin, but uh, it actually doesn't. It's just got two arrows that counts from uh, zero up to whatever, or down to whatever you know negative numbers. Uh, to make a integer selection, and uh, okay, so what you do, I've already laid this out. What you do is drag and drop a table, just like everything in NetBeans, and it starts off um, looking like this. You can see we have title one, two, three, four, four columns, four rows, pretty basic. Get rid of that. Now right click on this, go to our table contents, and we greet it with the customer dialog. Table mode, not interested. Columns and rows, we are interested in. So uh, in these titles you can edit them. Obviously you can also change the type from an object to a uh, double string. But keep it as an object because my tutorial is based around that. You can make it resizable which means you can drag it up and down to make it bigger or smaller. You can make it editable so that the user can uh, type in here and edit stuff. Maybe if you're making a big form, maybe an invoice or something, you guys would want to do that. And uh, you can delete or add things. You basically click on a column, or well, not a column. Well, this is actually a row. So you click on the row, and then uh, you click on delete. You can add more. This right here is a spinner, and uh, we can add plenty more. But we ain't gonna do that. To be happy with this, let's go into our rows, and here you go. You can see it laid out. This is why I did it before, so you guys can uh, match them up. So in the movie Transformers 3, I just Google the stuff here. Once again, you can add stuff. Click on inserts. I don't understand why they did that, why they have an insert and account. But um, that doesn't matter. Anyways, we got this thing set up. And uh, let's add a text field so you guys can see our output on the screen. That's mainly what I use text fields for. It's actually meant for input, mostly. I use it for output. I'm a boss. And uh, okay, there we go. We got some stupid error here. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so uh, once again, everything dep uh, depends on our get data button. So let's actually move that down and move all these a little bit up. There we go. Okay, so everything depends on our get data button. We set everything in a row column. Press get data. Get our thing out in here. Okay, but uh, before we carry on. Um, basically this is the table that you would lay out first and then if you would want to get stuff out of your table you do the, the method that I'm going to show you guys now and uh, okay let's get into our source code scroll down and uh, let's tab space that okay so what we do is let's rename our table to movie base for movie database Obviously, this is not a true database. So, the first thing we're going to do is type in our what did I name it? Movie movie base. Yeah. Dot uh, get model. Then another dot get value at. Okay. Now width and width. I I don't understand what that is for. But uh, basically, tables work with a uh, get value function right here. It gets the value at the row and the column. The row and the column is an integer. So the in in uh, programming languages, I don't know how many use this. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone does. But this first option right here, this Transformers three, is not actually row one, column one. It's row zero, column zero. And uh, in Java. We don't count one, two, three, four, five. We count zero, one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes it does get a bit confusing when you're working with uh, large tables, but uh, you just gotta drink lots of that coffee. So, yeah. Anyways, let's just say we want to get row zero. This will basically fetch the movie Transformers three, and uh, obviously we need to put a variable here. So let's put it as an object. Oh. Um, obj1 equals that. Okay, now once again, 
this is an object, it's not a string, so we cannot put it in our text field. But let's convert it. String value equals obj1 plus that. Like I said before, that's how you convert anything to a string. I'll build run. I added a nice little splash screen in my spare time. But uh, okay, anyways, let's click on get data. And nothing happened because I forgot to type it in here. JTEXT field one dot set text. Put in your value, compile build run. Okay, get data, transformers three. These things play no part yet, we didn't code it in. But uh, you can see it's working. Just to, to provide a more complex example. Let's get um, let's get 125 minutes for our Iron Man 2 movie and uh, let's count here now. Now columns are vertical, rows are horizontal which is why the columns that support your house are called columns. Pretty amazing. But uh, okay so this is not third column but uh, programming doesn't allow us to use the number three because that will be out of bounds. So this is actually two because zero, one, two. And it's in the second column, but uh, once again, Java programming, we have to go zero first, then one here. So, uh, column two, row one. Remember, it's row first, so it's one, I think. I already forgot, actually. But anyways, let's just see what happens. Get data. Okay, 125 minutes. So, uh, that example should get you going to get values out of any any option, uh, not any option, any uh, field. So, uh, okay, that's done. Now, let's add code to Jesus row in this column. I'm going to change this variable name to row, change this variable name to column. Already did that. Okay, source. Now, let's change this to row and column because. Uh, Okay, so obviously we got an error now, but we're going to fix that. So let's name our spinners. Okay, our spinners are renamed to row and column. But uh, spinners use an integer. So int row equals, oh, and actually, I actually made a mistake here. This should be row, and let's put this as column. Sorry if I'm confusing you guys. Column. Okay, so int row. Let's just put int. Oh, damn it. Let's do some multitasking code here. And column equals. And, uh, well, it's fading hard. Okay, so we have to get the value. And uh, we have to get the value at the column. So column dot get, um, get value. And we need an integer this has to be an integer you can see we have an error so let's type in integer in brackets okay so uh, anyways I just typed out the quick code and uh, yeah so just remember this piece of code integer first in brackets and uh, yeah there we go okay so now we are making use of our spinners to select a row and column so let's uh, get this John Favreo guy so uh, this is in Column one, remember zero then one. Column one and uh, row row one. Bam, there we go, John. Uh, let's try. Let's get this ninety three minutes. So uh, this is in column two and uh, row two. Ninety three minutes. Okay, so obviously um, in real world applications, people would be expecting this column to be column 3. Um, you guys can cater for that. Hopefully you guys have enough knowledge on Java to do that. But uh, if not, no worries because you probably never want to do this. Um, I guess for a, a practical application, maybe you have a whole list of movies and um, you want to search for all movies above or below 100 minutes. So it'll search those tables and you know, you get all the movies in a list. You can do that in SQL and uh, we'll be doing a tutorial on database connections soon. But uh, this is just really quick on how you 
use tables, spinners. I'll try to do a two in one here. Give you guys a bonus for being uh, great subscribers. And if you're not, you know, subscribe to us. And uh, another reason to subscribe is I'm actually working on this program in my own time. It's called Project Jarvis. And uh, it's a home automation project. It's going to be using the Raspberry Pi, Arduino, um, voice recognition. And I'm going to be doing all of this. Uh, you can see my partner, Daniil, did the, the nice GUI. And uh, we have all these options here. You know, it looks really cool now. It's going to be in uh, full screen mode running on the Raspberry Pi. And uh, all of this information is posted on our on our website, which I've just recently set up. And um, it's uh, www.vertexdigitalarts.wordpress.com. It's a WordPress site. We obviously don't make money, so we can't have a uh, .com website. But uh, all our stuff will be posted on there. So try keep up to date with Project Jarvis. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.